birthday. Every I think my brother started or he heard it from somewhere that you can't to do kids can't chew gum until they're five. Kind of stole that from our family and now the fifth birthday's your gum birthday. So here's to chewing gum. And here's your birth story. This uh this one's unique. I would say that you had the most unique birth story from my point of view. That's what this is. Remember that. So you're the third. Mom decided to do no drugs, try with no drugs. Actually, I don't even know if that was the plan. And I believe you were the quickest birth. We had been shooting days before the baby. I had been shooting days before the baby with the family which was just us documenting the time before you came, which is unique because you're the only one I did that for. Um, so go back and look at those videos if you're interested. But we went into the hospital. I was cool as a cucumber and After, let me just get into it. So your mom started having heavier contractions and then it became obvious that you were coming, you're gonna be here sooner than later. So uh, we started, the nurse, we, I had no part in this. The nurse started to page the, the doctor. Doctor didn't respond. Page them again, didn't respond. Well, they're telling you, you know, your mom's starting to push and you're coming faster and they're still trying to page the doctors. And I'm starting to pick up that the nurses are not freaking out, but they're like, okay, this is different than usual. And your mom's pushing you out and they say, <laughs> Okay, don't push. And she's like, she said something like, I can't stop pushing or he's coming. And then like the, the main nurse was like, all right, I guess I'm gonna have to do this. Doctor's not here, so I'm gonna have to catch. I'm watching all this and I'm just a innocent bystander just watching this. So I'm freaking out and then you come out and the nurse just like you're slippery and you slip and she almost drops you i don't think it's that it was that dramatic but from my point of view she almost dropped you and the cord was wrapped around your neck and she's just taking her finger and she's just, <sighs> just trying to get it off of your neck you're a little purple and I'm internally freaking out. And uh, she got it out of your neck. You start crying. Um, and I am devastated. Like, <laughs> it shook me to the core. And I was sitting there like, I, I'm guessing that there was tears just streaming down my face. I was, it was a, mac a mixture of terribly being frightened something wrong was happening and um, and just joy that you're here so like 
five minutes later, the doctor comes in. They had just like, they were eating it. <laughs> just put their pager down or didn't see their pager or whatever. And I just remember them coming in and be like, shaking hands and be like, oh, good job team, we did a good job. And I was just like, you did nothing. You did nothing. The nurses did everything. I didn't say that. I was like, get out of my face. But I was so, oh, two things. Your mom, uh, because she didn't have do like, um, what do they call it? Uh, epidural or anything like that. She barely did any drugs with you. She like endorphins hit in and she was like the, the, reader at the door she was just like hey how's everybody doing like just just happy as can be I was still shook and people would walk in and they would and Stacy your mom would greet them and be like hey la, la, la. and they're like did you have the baby and then they would look at me and they're like what which one of you they're like you look and they'd point to me awful I was like, I feel awful. I don't, it was the funniest thing because your mom was just shining with light and I was a, um, just a ball of mess. All right, getting back to you is that I held you and we had a talk that night that I'm sure you don't remember, but I said, don't ever scare me. Do not freak me out like that again. You need to be cool. You need to um, just take things easy. <laughs> and uh, you didn't disregard that. You <laughs> have done nothing but challenge my soul every day. I know you don't like the nickname Crash, but it is perfect for you. You crash into the world. And, um, and it's beautiful. And you have this amazing heart that I think, that I know that people will see throughout your life. I wanna fit this in super quick, but I'm almost at work. Um, <clears throat> I apologize. Um, you're such a, you're such a mama's boy. And, uh, and I, we were really, I was really afraid that when the baby would come that you'd be very jealous. But you are a shining star, big brother and little brother. You love your siblings and they give you a hard time, but they love you too. All right, happy birthday, buddy, I love you.